What about you? What do you think the play is about? <laughs> so here's the thing about me. <clears throat> I am an irretrievably hopeless romantic and Pride and Prejudice just lights my soul on fire. The real genius of what Jane Austen wrote is that it reminds us of the importance of patience, tolerance, and you know, like whatever the opposite of snarky judgment is. If you look at Jane and look at Caroline Bingley, they're both sometimes right, but who's happier? Not judgy, judgy Caroline Bingley. Who gets a fairy tale ending? Also not judgy, judgy, snark queen <laughs> Caroline Bingley. Jane mm -hmm. gets the happy ending because Jane is so <laughs> lovely. She deserves it. And Jane Austen in the JAU, <laughs> we have a world where those who live or learn this kind of peaceful generosity of spirit are rewarded beyond measure. It, you, you know, when you talk about what people need, it feels like a balm to me when I read Jane mm -hmm. Austen writing. Uh, this time through, looking at Pride and Prejudice as a book, as a play, I found myself realizing that this lesson that Lizzie has about not judging Mr. Darcy doesn't necessarily, or at least hasn't as I have been exposed to this story, it hasn't tracked out to the other characters. I have always been so judgy about uh, Caroline Bingley, about Mr. Collins, about Mr. Wickham. Um, and what's the difference between Darcy and Mr. Collins? I mean, aside from the fact that one is smoking hot and extremely wealthy and the other, you know, not, not so much. Um, we start out judging both Collins and Harshly. Nope. We start out judging Collins and Darcy both very harshly, but then we come to learn more about Darcy and we fall in love with him along with Lizzie. And I, I think the greater lesson is it's also a mistake to sit in judgment and laugh at Mr. Collins or Lady Catherine de Bourgh or Caroline or poor Mr. Wickham mm -hmm. <laughs> or Lydia. Oh my God. And Lordy, are they set up for such a bad marriage? But no, it's, it's okay for Mary. <laughs> <laughs> they are so mean to Mary in this play. Yeah. I took that note repeatedly. It is easy and sometimes a horribly fun way to pass the time to judge these people. The story makes it highly entertaining to judge them. And, you know, I'm not, even though I say that I'm a Jane because I assume best intentions, I, in some ways, I don't feel like I, I do feel like Lizzie, I can make these judgments. Um, my mom is naturally a Jane. She is mm -hmm. so generous and open about people to the point where she's devoted most of her life to trying to make the world a better place. And some people are, but in this way, I am more of a judgy Lizzie by nature. <laughs> and I'm pretty certain Jane Austen was too. That's why she put Lizzie's character at the center of the journey, but she writes this incredible, gentle, dreamy story to remind us to try a little harder to be like Jane or Bingley, to be more patient and to try to see the good in everyone. And here's the thing. I do fundamentally believe there is good in everyone. I do this. I, that's the central core of belief of mine, that people can get damaged and angry and unkind as a result of being alive in this often terrible world, but that underneath it, I believe in the goodness of people and that the smartest thing really, and the most human thing to do is to move beyond the quick, snarky, judgmental joke and to endeavor to see this good, not just in the Lizzie's and the Janes and the Bingley's and the Darcy's of the world, but also the Mr. Collinses and the Caroline's and the Lady Catherine de Berg's, the Lady Catherine de Berg's and the Lydia's and even the Wickham's. I see this as the central theme of the book and it is the journey that the play goes on. So I see it as the most important thing the play is about. It's not as fun as laughing at them, but it will make the world a better place. We're gonna read up on a lot of plays and talk about them in many ways. So welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk about Pride and Prejudice. You've been listening to Read More Plays. You can